australia europe asia africa north america south america antarctica welcome to one of the sunniest countries in africa called zambia if you are new to this channel my name is matthews aka machu 08 and in today's video we are visiting one of the seven wonders of the world because here in zambia we were, we've got one of the seven wonders of the world called the victoria falls or in our local language it is called moss otunia here in livingston if you happen to be new on my channel don't forget to subscribe and let's get in and paying here for zambians it is about one dollar and for non-zambians it's about twenty dollars somewhere there if i'm not mistaken and i did not come alone of course i came with my friend the famous youtuber we are already here and you can hear the sound in the background otherwise this place is interesting and right now it is at peak this place it has it before it was god most of Tonya that is in our local language which means the smoke that thunders something like that before David Livingston came to visit and the history of this place is that it was there even people local people knew about this place and David Livingston did not discover it he was the first European or white person to see this place and later on he went back to England and said that no I found one of the wonders of the world here in Zambia and when he came back he had to rename it as we all know that Zambia was colonized by British or by, by Britain rather or England ends it was named after the Queen of England by then Queen Victoria Furthermore, I would like to make mention that this one of the seven wonders of the world called Mosotunia or Victoria Falls is shared between two countries and this is Zambia and Zimbabwe. It is located in two countries. That's what um, it is is so don't just think that it is only in zambia it is also in zimbabwe you can go and view it from that side and i have reached the famous knife bridge it is very small and here looking down there i think you can even uh, feel your head is like spinning i was even streaming on my russian channel as i was crossing this famous knife bridge and the rains the way it was raining on me oh this place is just amazing because at this moment it is at its I have finally crossed this knife bridge I wanted to show you something interesting the rainbow which always appears here but I don't know why maybe it's because of the rains you can see how I am enjoying by the way this is my second time of visiting this amazing place I will never get tired of visiting this place because each time I come to Livingstone it's a different atmosphere it's a different 
feeding so if you've been to livingstone if you've been to victoria falls you are watching outside africa it could be europe it could be asia it could be australia it could be north america south america or even an african country and you visited the victoria falls please do leave a comment let me know what was your experience would you like to visit this place again just look at how they i don't know if you can call it most you can call it fog it is just amazing such that nothing is visible it is just white of course we're with our friend anna from russia <laughs> As I am vlogging, I am also live on YouTube on my Russian channel. I've got two channels, Russian and English channel. Just look at how powerful this thing is. You can even generate electricity. Oh my God. It's otherwise the feeling is something cannot express the feeling it is something that you cannot explain and people a lot of people have got no or little knowledge about this place that it is one of the wonders of seven wonders of this world as i said if you are watching and you've never been to this place i'm officially inviting you to come to this place i know there are so many wonders of the world and i would like to visit the rest of uh, the remaining six since i've managed to visit one of it which is the victoria falls and i would like to visit others so if you are from europe i know most of the european countries it is visa free or visa on arrival hence it is easy for you to visit this country and i've seen a lot of people maybe you can even see in the background of the video that there are people passing the jackets because it is at peak and there are other many activities if you want you can hire a helicopter and you view this victoria falls from the Woo! skies of which i would like to do that unfortunately my financial status doesn't allow me or cannot allow me to do that but i believe and trust that one day i'm going to do that just see how this water is flowing whenever i come to this place i just see god's creativity i just see how powerful god is because it can only be god who can create such an explainable magnificent unbelievable falls hence it is good one of the seven wonders of the world let's continue our tour so that i show you where this thing ends and most of the people they say that uh, it is about maybe five kilometers if i'm not mistaken or maybe uh, more than that and 95 percent of it is located in zambia and 10 percent is in zimbabwe that's why it is shared between two countries and there's always an argument which side has got the best view i hear people they say that it's from the zimbabwean side and other people they say that it's from the zambian side on that one i cannot confirm because I've only viewed it from the Zambian side. I've never viewed it from the Zimbabwean side. That's the debate that always goes on on social media. So if you viewed this magnificent uh, Victoria Falls from both sides, from Zimbabwe, from Zambia, drop a comment. I would like to hear from you. I would like to know. I am enjoying here. Uh, 
myself the rain and what thing i can say if you're a tourist you come to visit this place i advise you not to wear a raincoat just go with your clothes that's when you're going to have the real experience of this place if you go with a raincoat it's just like swimming with clothes. slowly i'm taking you to the end of this um now uh, victoria falls or i can say where the zambian part ends and it is very interesting don't forget to like this video and if you are watching on this channel for your very first time please don't forget to subscribe for more interesting videos from zambia and my niece and a friend they are also enjoying the atmosphere of this place as we are slowly approaching the bridge which is shared between zambia and zimbabwe i will show you how it looks my phone almost got soaked while you know streaming on my russian channel because they wanted to see it in full view they wanted to see it live and hear the sound and hear how powerful the sound is the interesting part that i wanted to show you on this knife bridge is the rainbow how it appears that's why i say that whenever i come to this place i just see god's creativity just look at this rainbow the way it is forming ahead of me everything here never stops to amaze me never stops to surprise me this is just marvelous this is just awesome something that you cannot even explain i wanted to show you how the rainbow appears and we are almost here enjoying the view uh, network is misbehaving uh, number one bush it number one the network oh, okay we are back thank you for your patience as you can see we are live here from the falls in spite of time going those who are still stuck around thank you so much guys and we'll see you as they say that everything that goes up must surely come down come to the path or where the zambian path ends you can even see that bridge where people do budge jumping so the other side there is zimbabwean side and where we are standing it is zambian side and you can even see the fog or you can even see how powerful it is farm i'm very happy that you joined me on this tour i hope you have enjoyed each and every inch of this video starting from the entrance until the end yeah that side that's where zimbabwe is and where i'm standing it is the zambian side it is quite interesting how these countries have divided and how they have got marks the where it ends just here i'm in zambia right there across it is the Zimbabwe so it's very easy to go to Zimbabwe if you are a Zambian and it is very easy for a Zimbabwean to come to Zambia otherwise this is what I wanted to show you thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like I will appreciate a lot and I would like to say thank you very much for your support thank you very much for always coming back to my channel to watch my videos your support means a lot otherwise i did not been for you this channel wouldn't be in existence but it exists 
because of the support that you've been showing from the time I started. We're going to see you in the next video. Bye bye. Paka paka. Peace. Ciao from Zambia here in Livingston, the tourist capital of Zambia.